Today we are going to estimate sums and differences. In chapter 1 we learned how to round. Now that we're on addition and subtraction, we're going to be estimating and rounding some addition and subtraction problems. So my instructions say to round to the nearest hundred. So I'm going to round each of these two numbers to the hundreds. So 6,287, deciding if that 2 is going to stay the same or if it's going to go up to a 3. Since the number after it's 5 or higher, it will go up to a 3. So that rounds to 6,300. Our second number, the 100 is a 6. The number after it is a 4 or less. So the 6 will stay the same. So I will have 2,600. Now we can just use mental math like we did earlier. And I can add these and get 8,900. So all we're doing today is combining two skills we've already worked on, rounding and adding mentally. My second example problem Estimate, round to the nearest thousand. Make sure you read the instructions carefully so you know where you're rounding to. So same thing, rounding to the thousands. So I'm going to decide if our thousands place will stay the same or if we'll go up one. So that eight's going to stay the same. And this three is going to go up to a four. This is subtraction. It's another thing you need to watch out for if we're adding or subtracting. So this will be 0, 0, 0. 8 subtract 4 is 4. 9 subtract 6 is 3. And there we go. So since these are two skills we've already worked on and hopefully you've mastered, I think we're ready already jump in and have you do two practice problems, or three, actually. So estimate, round each number to the nearest thousand. So you're going to have three practice problems. You're going to round each of them to the thousands, and make sure you double check to see if you're adding or subtracting. Go ahead and pause it, and then unpause it to check your work. Okay, the first practice problem. I don't have room to show all my work on this one, but the first number is going to change to 5,000. The second number is going to stay at 2,000. So 5,000 plus 2,000 is 7,000. Our second problem, our first number is going to stay at 12,000. Then we're going to subtract 9,000, so that will equal 3,000. And our third practice problem, our first number is going to round up to 77,000. Our second number will stay at 2 at 12,000. So 77,000 plus 12,000 equals 89,000. And now we're ready for the three problems we'll check in class tomorrow. Same instructions, except we're rounding each number to the nearest hundred this time. And we have three problems again. Number one, 197 plus 653. Number two, 3,456 plus 4,321. And your last problem today is 8,649. Subtract 5,700. 18. Thank you for listening, and have a glorious day.